Oh, I figured I'd pop in maybe a minute early this time since I'm usually a few minutes late. I figured I'd change things up a little bit. So hopefully everybody's doing okay. Everybody can see better. Hopefully the stream is flowing better. I did finally get my high-speed internet. So hopefully there's no uh, low-resolution junk being passed through. So on the thumbnail, I now have inserts for this right here. This is the Hyrex 5.25. Got that. I've got inserts for that, and I've got inserts for the Tusk 525. Now, what I've done is I've tried to keep the profile narrow, but there's still very, very little, if any, slop right here. So very little bit. Um, these are the uh, these are wheels I got off of Amazon, about 20, 25 millimeters. So they're kind of a narrow competition style wheel. All right, RC Adventure, what's up? Crawler Track, Sergeant, Eric, Urban, Mir. Uh, Major Rhodes, Rick Smith, VMB, Clayton. I know Clayton, I popped in a few seconds early here. Uh, TKTV, JDs, what's up? Insane, BMX Thomas, Paul King, Matt Ellison, Demon Toyd. Wow, you guys are checking in like crazy here. Eric, David, Harry, what's up, guys? Now, I do got to tell you, um, I wasn't sure if I was going to get it live tonight. Uh, I had five cavities taken care of today at the dentist. Still a little bit on the sore side, but we're going to get this taken care of here. Ben, Scott, Brian, what's up? Uh, the true the true dad bod, what's up? Harry Chambers, RC player, Discovery. <laughs> I do what I can, Harry. Uh, and we got to check in. Thank you, Sergeant. I appreciate that. Um, how bad is the lag? Is the lag any better? Like, say, from post-up, uh, uh, post-up, this right here, I want to, when I say this right here, I want to see how long the lag is. Post-up, tusk. Okay, about five, about five or six seconds. Okay, no lag. Rusk, tusk, 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 tusk. You got it. So if there's no lag, man. This is crazy because I can actually like see you guys and answer you on time versus being twenty seconds late. Uh, Roger, what's up, Ben? Mir, insane BMX, no lags. Like watching an upload, dude. That's awesome, man. Um, dude, the new internet is amazing. Um, I also got to check some things. Um, I found, I'm trying to do uploads, trying to get my stuff set up to where, let me see, what did I upload last night? And I say uploading last night, that's a little bit different story now. I can't see it right here, but, um, but regardless, uh, it's like, man, I can do a 1080, 60 video in 10 seconds. Uh, 4K, which I'm trying to get back into. I had my phone settings upload changed, but I uh, should be able to start getting 4K. Took around 25 seconds to 30. As we're normally a 4K upload, it'll be like two, three hours. So that's why I, that's why I can never do it. Um, da, da, da. what's up? Uh, video sharp as well. I'm so glad that everything is coming through now. Um, got to go. Urban RC, what's up? We just randomly told about going somewhere. Oh, don't you love that, Urban? Parking, do you get signal? There is a signal out of the track. Now, there's a booster that I can get, and the booster is awesome, but there's no place in the proper place to put the booster. When Sean puts his building up, at that point, we had the proper location to put the booster, and we'll have really good signal all the way up the track. I tried to do a live stream from the track, and it didn't work out so well. Didn't really work out so well, though, so, but, um, sharp video versus beforehand. Excellent, excellent. See who wears the pants over there. Smash that. Andrew, sir. Andrew, how did the uh, washers work out for your raminators? Um, for mine, they worked out pretty good. I was paying attention to 
sometimes it's like, man, now I got to adjust my trim where them bolts would just kind of bend a little bit and move. Um, I didn't notice that when I ran them on the Ram Bouncer. On my next order of Vitavite, I'm going to restock on those. They're all sold out. Um, if you say, hey, when I say, hey, soon, are you ready? Eric Rombo, sure. I'll say, hey, as soon as I see you pop up here, buddy. Hey, see it. How's the little crawler track going? The little crawler track is pretty good. Need the big, oh yeah, I got to get you the big sway bars as well. You want the six millimeters, correct? Five seconds. Uh, Mickey flips, buddy. The Ecto is amazing. It was third of my 18 crawler uh, showdown. Felt the test of the big rock, put them on my rift. What a world of difference on your rift. Wow, Joe Curry, what's up? Saw it. Excellent, Joe Girding. Cool, man. Excellent on that. Oh, I'm waiting on my order from Three Brothers RC. Got some inserts. Let's, oh, yeah, speaking of inserts, I'll, that's kind of what was on my thing here. I've also got inserts for these. These are the Proline Mickey Thompson Baja Pro X. These are what I call the fat boys. <laughs> because these are meant to go with like a 30 millimeter wide wheel. This is a Vanquish 30 millimeter wide wheel. I've got some other wheels ordered from uh, Amazon. They were too late. Uh, I did get my 2.2 Narrows in for these right here. These are set up. Um, the Tusk is kind of a good competition tire. I'm thinking a great class three. I kept it narrow. There's very, very little, if any, slop on the sides. The anti-side roll is going to be amazing. They're going to absorb. I believe these right here have the soft in them. So, and now these right here, they have a little bit of something I'm putting into here. And I want to show you guys. You can kind of see a little bit of here. This is like for the Hyrax, because I also have them for the Hyrax as well. Hyrax is a little different than the Tusk. But if you see right here, see how this goes in? Remember when I was testing the inserts, the claws and all that stuff? Well, I'm learning things as I go, and I'm trying to bring you guys along on the learning curve that I'm at. But when you get down to that, it actually acts like a little bit of a biting edge. There's a little bit of an edge right there when you get into that in either direction. It feels like it's a little bit better this direction, but it actually adds a little bit of a bite. So got that going on. Um, I'll probably, probably adjusting inserts as I go along. 4.19, these are the J Concepts lamp. Uh, uh, actually not lamp eyes, these are the, uh, the uh, what am I thinking of here? Megalithics. We make an inserts for these as well. I'm actually printing a test for this right now. Uh, I need the big sweep board five seconds. I don't know if I make mini track at local hobby shop. Uh, Brian Hill, nice. Boom. Huh? What's so just all your insert today? Dan Woodruff. Hopefully they fit in, buddy. Everyone, uh, do you have a favorite SCX6 rock crawler tire? That's, I'll have the Super Swamp out turn the tusks. Dude, I think the tusks hook up way better than the uh, Swampers do. I really do. To me, they just seem to have more of a biting edge across them. As we're like a swamper, uh, swampers are legendary, okay? They are legendary, but the, the middle is just ribbed. It doesn't really do much, but what I'm doing right now is I'm printing one of these right here. This is just a simple PLA thing so I can test for diameter. So I got one printing up for this right here so I can get the right diameter. Um, once I get the right diameter, then I got to look at the width. And these are going to be a very different insert. They're not going to be the same type deal like what you see here. They're not going to be like this. They're going to be a very different because there's so much less space to work with. So I got to re I got to redesign everything for the 4.19s. So, um, yeah, I got to do that. I'm also going to be working on soon. I don't have them out here. I'm actually working on the uh, 5.75 uh, Baja Pro X's so for the bouncers. My goal is for the bouncers, something for the bouncers on that. But I have these in the big fat ones like the fat boys you see right here. And I've got those. And if you want to see everything I've got, man, I got like 35 different inserts now. It's ridiculous. Uh, the pinned post has a link to it. Uh, Cruz, thank you, buddy. 
Pat House, I see 84 you guys and 33 likes. Uh, my favorite SA Rock Crawler tire got you there. Yep. Uh, Baja Pro should be released soon. Now, they do the uh, Baja Pro. That will be probably the tire to have, honestly. I mean, that tire, I mean, these are just ultra aggressive and really nice, in my opinion. Um, Blazer, I see, man, that red cat. Um, fits the big motor. I did the speed run today. We're still really limited on gearing for that, but you guys do know that Arthur has one of these trucks, Vitavon. So get ready. Get ready. Um, he's going to turn this thing into an X Max killer without a doubt. I mean, the truck as it sits has got bigger gears in it than the X Max. Just as it sits. Did I happen to bust a rear ring gear off? I did break the teeth on that, as you guys saw in the video. But Arthur's going to make all this stuff right here out of, like, really high-end steel. Get ready. The vigilante is about to change. Enjora brass beadlock wheels. I haven't messed with those. Um, on J-Concepts, the whole tires, I just run the regular uh, J-Concepts inserts on them. Uh, are the soft or the super soft? And it's three or fours, and it's crazy that somebody told me ballooning with tires, what causing that, got some big R. Now, the ballooning of the tires, I mean, I'm not really sure if these would actually help that, but I do know if the foam, which I've got, well, if the foam has got weight in it, that foam will spread. But I think a lot of the ballooning is just simply the mass of the carcass of the tire itself. I mean, that's just, they just expand, you no know, centrifugal force. It happens, especially when, them, when you spin them up. Because, man, I tell you, some of these guys with their wrists, they make mine look like it's a brushed motor on 2S. You guys got some wild wrists out there. Um, David, I looked at. I actually mocked up and built some inserts for the 2.9s. Um, who else is making 2.9 inserts? I, I need to know because I think it's just three brothers. But these inserts were literally about 14 hours each on the printer. I mean, that's a lot of print time and a lot of filament. So I think just three brothers is the only guys that are making this. Four Fusion SEs. You shouldn't be having a heat issue unless there's something not, unless they're, uh, you have to figure a Fusion SE is a FOC. So if they're not, you take for example, I have four Fusion um, Pros in my Sherp, the Fusion Sherp, the big nice one. Um, I got four of them in there and they don't always boot up the same. I know it sounds crazy, but there's a specific sequence that I have to turn these on. One, two, three, four, like driver's side, passenger side, driver's side, passenger side, front and back, okay? Um, and that usually gets them right there, but uh, you gotta make sure everything is synced up and calibrated correctly because if you don't, it's like they're FOC. So if they're not turning the exact same RPM, this one's going to be pulling this one. This one's going to be pushing this one everywhere you go with it. So that might be your heat issue right there. And brush motors would be quite a bit more forgiving, in all honesty. Okay, Andrew, I'm looking forward to seeing that. Tag me, please. Hi from France. Oliver G., what's up, buddy? Do you think the Gorgon wheels would work on the new Omni Terminator? I don't know. That's a good question. Um, that's a really good question. And now that the Omni Terminator is getting out to the public, I might need to try that. That's a good question. In fact, I'm going to add that to my notes. <laughs> I might need to try that one now. That's a, that's a good one there. Gorgon... Wheels on Omni. 
Okay. That's a good one there, dude. I never thought of that. That's definitely worth trying, though. It might be a little bit big, but might just help it on the backflips and stuff. Um, see, Insane BMX, dude, I remember years ago, I tried to duct tape and all that stuff. Either I didn't clean the tires properly or my duct tape was a knockoff or something, but it just, the tire still expanded, it just pulled off the tape. It didn't act like a belt for me. So I'm thinking I must have prepped something wrong and messed that up because other, because like you're talking about right now, people get them. Now, Steady Foam, they have an insert, yes, but it is a foam. And 3BRC and Squid by special order, yeah. And see, if I was to do that, man, you're probably talking, would probably have to be like, probably 90 bucks to get four of them. Because it would tie up, well, I currently have six printers. Um, if I was to start doing those, because... I think I could possibly do an SCX6 2.9 in a way that would make them way more competition-like than what's out there now. Um, so if that was to go, I mean, I could literally print, I, I would buy four more printers and I would literally have to go like one set of inserts per day. But I would literally probably had to buy four more printers just because of the tie-up of, say, I get an order in for some J Concepts and I happen to be out of them at the moment. It's like, dude, now my printers are tied up for 18 hours. Now the order is going to ship a day later than what it needed to be. I'm really trying my best to keep up with everybody and to get orders out next day or even same day if they come in like really early in the morning. My mail lady picks up at like nine o'clock in the morning and they're on, I'm on the East coast. So that could be five o'clock on the West coast, you know, something like that. So it could be kind of, kind of early for you guys to try to get in on that same day shipping. 61 inch C frame for a trailer. Heavy duty enough to carry about 50 pounds. Parking. Oh, you're you're trying you're wanting to expand your uh, your uh, RC hauling capabilities, huh, dude? I know what you need to do. Okay, what you do? All right, you get your bike going right. Well, you take your X Max, and you have a bracket where you can drop the X Max behind your bike, and you can use the X Max to push you around. Batteries probably won't last very long, but you could certainly move, do some moving. Just don't go crashing in the ditch. Sidewall can stretch and expand as well, but really a lot of it is just the mass of the tire itself. I mean, take, take the Gorgon, for example. When you spin them up, they expand. Those tires have no inserts at all. There's no foam or anything in those, and they expand, and there's no foam adding mass to that wheel at all. So it's just it's just centrifugal forces. I mean, really. What's up, Joe? Cutting Miniac, what's up? No, wake up, got any advice on prepping the Gen 9 Scout for BTC? Um, yeah, for BTC, just make sure everything in it is up to par, reliable. Make sure your bolts are tight. I lost a few when I did the creek a few years ago. Um, pack those axles full of grease and be ready to tear everything apart and clean it out when you're done. Get, definitely get a feel for orders before committing to make the 2.9 insert. I fully understand. Yeah, because you're talking, um, you know, I'm using the Creality Ender 3 SEs. I've got four of those literally running right now. Um, I've got a few KEs, and I'm keeping those off the TPU thing. I use them for TPU too, but um, I want to have those for all the PLA stuff, the hard parts and stuff like that. And they're actually finishing up. Well, one is actually working on a tester so I can test for the diameter of this little tire right here. 
It's just easier to print this versus going through an entire insert. Although this is a 525 tusk one. Look at, so this will be a lot smaller. And since it'll be a lot smaller insert, it's gonna cost less as well. And saying, I do take notes. Look at that. <laughs> I am taking notes. Ah, uh, you think an Enjora JK will fit a SCX M3? You're talking about the uh, JK hard body? Yes, so I believe it will. You may have to get a little bit creative on the body mounts, but yeah. No to pull behind my F450, carry my X Max, and Nikto, maybe a. You want that sin? Oh, I, I still have that sin video I got to edit. I've never edited it. But just so you expecting a sin 450 to carry an X Max and an Ecto. Dude, as far as vehicles go, Paul, get yourself the, uh, the uh, Typhon Grom. We got a whole class for them things. And I'm thinking about running a series out here. As far as that goes, um, the Typhon Grom and obviously the Granite Grom. But run a series of those on, they got to be box stock now. You can change pinion gear and wheels and tires, which I recommend some good sticky on-road tires for them. However, we're also going to be racing them drift wheels. So, yeah. And it's amazing. You can drift them, but without any gyro, you really got to drive Uh, Paul, I believe, uh, I, I think RC Outlet has them in stock. Uh, just talk to somebody that's running by RC Outlet. Um, RC Kings. Dude, I'm going to get this guy a crown, okay? I'm going to print out a nice little purple crown for this guy because, dude, he pretty much, I think, he, I think he's got the most awards of anybody that shows up here at the Exoplex. He wins off-road. He wins. He won. You won the Winter Series uh, Crawler, didn't you, for a uh, sport class? So, yeah, dude. He probably has a bucket of medals. He's one day just going to bring back and say, here, recycle these. Because <laughs> he's going to have so many, he, he can't even, he won't be able to do much with them. Um, and they're just the ones off of Amazon. It's nothing special, but, you know, when you win something, you win something, right? If I were to go out and grab a scale 110 truck at the moment with aftermarket behind it, what would it be? Grab a 110 scale, just a RTR right off the shelf with the aftermarket behind it. Man, it's such a tough one, dude. Probably the Vanquish VRD uh, stance. Oh, uh, well, hopefully it didn't. Uh, the Van Man, what's up? Would be. Good gearing for a limitless V2 for drag. I got a max my buddy. I do not know drag racing and stuff like that. I do not know where to go. Uh, I do not know. Probably one to one. I'm guessing. I don't know what to tell you on that. A green crown. I got some green. I can make you up a nice little crown or something. Uh, Rob Conant, what's up, Pat? I cleared an old shed and and hot tub. Might do a small track, dude. Man, when you yeah, the smaller vehicles you can track them up anywhere. Could you describe how to properly align the wheels on an X Max? I know the rears are towed in, but what should the front be? You're getting a high speed wobble, Carl. That's probably your uh, TSM, your Traxxas uh, steering gyro. Unless you have aftermarket uh, turn buckles and steering links, you can't adjust your alignment on that. Uh, watch your rattling the SCX-6. What's my ratting the SCX-6? I have no idea what you mean. Nick Della, what's up? Down on the east coast of Central Florida, have you ever been to the Hobby Shop RC Park in Ocala, Marion? Uh, you're talking about uh, Scale Mountain, Nick? Uh, yeah, I've been there. It's been a while, though. It has been a while. 
Just got an X Max, Aaron Moore. Dude, I love the X Max. Max 5G2 or Max 6G2 for the Vigilante. Man, now hopefully you've been watching. I'm running the 5690, the 1250 KV on the stock ESC, and I'm fine with it. I turned the punch up. You guys will see that video. I'll probably release that video tomorrow. It made a big difference. The biggest thing is the gearing is really limiting you because when you put a big motor in it, you can pull a lot more gearing. And right now, you're limited to like maximum 22 pin gear. I have a 19 on there. So you can't really gear it up. Like for the X-Max, you can gear them to the moon. And you will be able to do that with the Vigilante in due time because Vinavon is working on it. Believe me. Okay, Nick. See, April, May. Okay, you mentioned that I could not find it. Look, see, I'm, I'm going to send you an email. I, I need the information for this, please. Uh, here's my email address. Yahoo.com. All right. Send me an email with all the information on that. Um, I, I was talking to my guy at uh, Horizon. He didn't even know about this. And Arma is Horizon, is Axial, is Losi. So they're all kind of under the same umbrella there. Andrew, I picked up three Typhon Groms and haven't had the time or health to play. Man, the Typhon Groms are fun. Rate it on... 1 to 10. Um, Cruise, let me uh, go back up and figure out what it was. I'm, I got a rate here. Uh, oh, what's my rating on the SCX6? Well, considering there's absolutely nothing else in its class, I got to give it a 10. Um, when it comes to trail driving, usually the it's like the bigger the vehicle, the smaller the obstacle. It's all, it's all proportionate. Like, you have this right here. You drive across a two-inch rock. Okay, it bumps you up. Well, you jump up to one of these right here, and guess what? Now the rock is a little bit smaller by comparison. But the SCX-6, in my opinion, is an awesome vehicle. I didn't think it would be when it first came out. I was like, Psh, that's dumb. But, dude, I like it. What are you doing? I'm a mad scientist inserts experiment. Thanks, RC Van Man. I have been on a learning curve with them things, man. Enlighten, what's up? And a weird place there's a few small skate parks, nothing for jumping. See, Nick, I'm kind of glad, but sad in the same per same way that I don't have a really local skate park. If I did have a local skate park, I would have a lot more broken things. So um, without having the skate park here, it's kind of saving me a lot of money. Just, you know, it's saving me a bunch of money there. To the moon. Pat, did you see me when I sent the Vigilante up the big ramp? Dude, I put that thing at least 30 feet up. I mean, somehow managed to chip a ring gear on the rear axle, but that's all taken care of. And you'll see it tomorrow i will release that video tomorrow um hundred mile house bc what's up gerald horizon hobby post okay horizon hobby posted on facebook i got to get a hold but yeah i absolutely will get down there I, I, i'll find the information on that i'll get back a hold of my horizon guy i said dude you should have let me know especially if it's in florida you ever try the Hobo Hyper? I have not had anything from Hobeo in a long time. How do you get those Vitavon to when it would work with your USD OT6 stickies? The OT6 stickies, those typically go right on. They're actually, when Arthur made those wheels, he actually had that tire. So it was actually built for that tire. Uh, Usually people have more of an issue with using like Proline tires or something like that. Um, do you have a odd insert or something in there? Um, I'm not sure. Um, Jack's Beach Bash and Crawl. What's up, buddy? I'm running your super softs and soft. They are great. Made a minor mod. 
them to work their best, but what a better way. Better than the yet. Wow, way better than the Yizzers. I'm curious. Um, FJ F40. Um, email me exocagedrc.com. I'm curious what the mod you did to them. I'm curious about that. See if it's something I need to look at. Making do a running update to them on. 127 likes. I, I see 94 awesome people and 64 likes. 39 KV, 36 field on 3S, TRX4, stop gearing fast on grass. Oh, dude, I ran a, a 5700 or 7700 KV on my TRX4 one time. It was so amp hungry that they literally, the wires would jump. And I had a Castle Mamba Max Pro ESC at the time. That's That was like the best thing you could have at the time. I haven't had a serpent. I I don't know what to tell you, William. More Max Slash. I actually looked at that earlier. Proline Dual Foams. Man, I tell you, I like a lot of stuff from Proline, but I have never really liked their dual stage foams. For some reason, it's like they're just too fat or something. It, I just it was never really my favorite way to go, the Proline dual stage foams. I always chose the crawler innovation foams. Monitor, I'll still get this wobble. You do have adjustable toe. Okay, if you have adjustable toe links, set them straight. Set them straight or maybe even a little bit out at the front. Um, as far as the rears go, how bad are they in? Is it possible that your hubs are broken or they're flexing and allowing the vehicle to go in? If you're running along, okay, like when you're on dirt, it doesn't matter too much, but boom, you're running along, right? Now, say your rear hubs are flexing a lot and you're getting this, or you say the front is up and you do this right here, okay? What'll happen is this tire right here will get a little, a little bit of grip and it'll pick this up and slide the truck over. Then this one will hit slide the truck it'll get into this rhythm right here almost like death wobble but it's coming from the rear and it'll just cycle like that and the next thing you know you're in a crazy cartwheel which can be pretty spectacular as long as your body don't fly off and you got to go get it do i have the wide max kit installed on my x max uh i do have the wide. i have one x max with a wide kit and one x max narrow and then i have you can see the wheels on that's my vitavon x max um, for general bashing and all that, man, the stock width is fine. It really is. Um, yeah, you're, yeah, you're not really geared wild there, buddy. Uh, Carl, you're not really geared wild on that. Just slow it down. My good for low speed control on our pet house. The way you explain larger scale crawlers, I feel the same way with the X Max and stuff. The larger stuff just drive better. Uh, that's a your fact. You're right, Aaron. That piece of a motor. I got a lot of fusions and different things. I just posted a screenshot on um, XOF Facebook page. It was short, but can't figure out how to steal it. I'll uh, I'll have to check it out. And just see Armageddon. I got axial rift. What do I suggest? Um, ag yard. You got an axial rift. What I suggest. For what? Uh, motor, ESC, tires? I mean, what exactly are you asking me to suggest against here? I see. I had a, a TRX4 and I did 44 miles per hour in a parking lot at the school. And then it hit the ditch. The truck actually survived. There are tanks. Get your hands on the old Proline Hammers 2.2 G8 compound around memory foam, cheap going. Right? Um, will the VFD 20 overdrive gear set go in a stance? I believe all the gears interchange, John Law. There's a Hell Seeker. Cool. Just curious at what you're actually after here. Hell seeker, I say, I got my boiler Grom and I took the UDI truck. That drift truck looks pretty good. Come on, dude, come on over, bus nut. 
got me don't know which one. I've I've soft taco got me don't know which one. I'm not sure what you got going on there. Um for bouncer, is it better to have stiff suspension or soft? Huh. Uh bouncer. Kind of soft, okay. Soft, but with dampening enough to where the suspension doesn't just slam the chassis. When you're bouncing up stuff, there's a fine line on this. If you, okay, let me explain this. Like say this is a SCX six axle, right? If your suspension, your dampening is really, really weak, okay? And you hit something, this axle is gonna slam up into the chassis and all that mass is gonna go into the chassis immediately and throw the chassis up. This can bounce you off of rocks or bounce you forward or whatever. If you go too stiff on the shocks, when that axle hits that same obstacle, it transfers so much to, to the chassis that it doesn't compress, okay? When you have it right and you hit that same obstacle, the axle will absorb all the way to the chassis and transfer as little as possible to the chassis. So this is why in a lot of your real high-speed vehicles, they're all independent because there's less unsprung weight, which is what you've got right here. The more unsprung weight you get moving, the more it wants to continue moving. And the only thing, Matt, the only thing holding it back is the suspension and the chassis. Um, so it's kind of one of them things where if you want to race, don't go heavy. Don't go putting brass in your wheels. Don't use heavy wheels. Don't use high mass anything when you're trying to race with a solid axle. You really want to keep it as light as possible so it can react fast. That way <clears throat> you're going across the track. You're not bouncing off of it. Well, the Vitavon B blocks for the X Max fit on the Vigilante. Yes, as long as you have the hubs for the uh, Creighton 8S. So basically, get the X-Max wheels with the 8S hubs, and they'll go right on. That's something else I want to try on my Vigilante. Dude, <clears throat> the Flysky Noble is a really good radio. I believe they've got, um, I forget his name, but they got a pro driver actually racing for Fly Sky now, and he's on that Noble. I can't think of the guy's name, but that's huge for Fly Sky. Trey Lip, what's up, buddy? That's being a vigilante. Rustler's a goat tool wheel drive thing. Oh, man, Rustler, yeah. I remember all that. Red Cat Fusion on order. What upgrades do I suggest? Uh, Paru, uh... Wheels and tires. The stock servo is fine. The stock radio is fine. The motor's good to go. I mean, it's like there's very little you can do to it. It's got brass on the front. Sure, sure you can put brass knuckles off a of Gen 8 on the front of that thing to add a little bit more weight to it. But really, it's just wheels and tires. That's about all you can really do to the thing. You know, I am no over time, they're going to get into suspension and this and that and stuff like that. But... As it is, the truck runs great, man. If I'm gonna go with for the Ot6 Vitavon 2.2. Uh what foam? Um are you if you're jumping and bouncing and just getting stupid with it, stock foams might be your best bet, Hellseeker, because they'll absorb all the hit. Just like what I was talking about. As far as tires absorbing hits, you may be better off with the stock one, man. Uh, you scored a hammer ray. What's the first upgrade? Cutting mini -act. full Vitavon steering. Do that, and it should it, it should be night and day difference between the two, or between the performance before and after. Thank you, Andrew Wooster. I appreciate it. We need a Creek RC. What's up? Thanks. Now your rift is going down at Axel Fest. I wasn't even planning to bring my rift. I don't even have a rift. All I have is the bouncer. I'm only bringing a few things to Axel Fest, man. One of those things, possibly two of those things, might be 
because it's kind of an exception to the rule. When you're at Axial Fest, you got to understand it's Axial. They're not there to watch you play around with the Traxxas TRX-4. They're not there to let you race around with a uh, uh, Bandit, Rustler, X-Max. Not saying that there are none out there, but it's Axial Fest. It's their event, their product, their rules. So when you go to Axial Fest, take your Axials. And see, I'm not even sure if my Rift, Rift Bouncer qualifies as Axial anymore. It probably has a few bolts. I think the transmission is still Axial. But everything else is all Vitavon and uh, Addictive RC. But I am going to bring a... Uh, I am going to bring the uh, Raminator and the Ram Bouncer because they're kind of an exception to the rule. Just They're just crazy. Have you ever custom built an RC with a blank slate, a crawler? Aaron, yes, sir, I sure have. I got about 15 of them. <laughs> the excavator does sound interesting, doesn't it? First, there's a base cam. I have a nine-pound crawling tank. I'm changing gear on so motor. Gear setup for heavy portal axle. Ah, uh, do, do, do. probably just go with uh, uh, Fusion Pro for that gear. Probably just go for that. Uh, did you get your VRD portal gears fixed? I haven't broken any portal gears. Not me. But the guys out here, they were busting them left and right. So, um. I'm assuming they've got their portal gears figured out, but personally, I have not broken the VRD portal gear. And I was driving that VRD today. I just put a new chassis on that one by uh, Corrupt Carbon. That's got a Corrupt Carbon chassis on that one. Now, I got to finish all my videos and all that stuff of it. How do you change the tuning on your Vigilante? Did you use a hobby? Um, what I did was I used a, uh, you know, the old 1080 tuning boxes, the little tuning cards. One of these right here. Probably this one right here. This is what tunes it. And then in the manual, you can actually see where you make the adjustments at. It actually has a, a tuning table and stuff like that. So now these are what you used to get with the Hobbywing 1080. I still had the little paper thing on it. But yeah, that's how I tuned this one. Uh, uh, Score to felony. What's the best upgrade for those? <laughs> oh, good lawyer. <laughs> uh, cutting mini at. Yes, I'm going to beat the creek. I'm going to at least bring the Ram Bouncer. I might bring the Raminator. I'm not sure yet. But then I'll, I'm planning to bring inserts, all these wonderful things. Got some Vitavon stuff to bring and all that. So I will have a booth. I will be by Jack's RC Recycle and Repair. Massive thing. But he's also the guy that sponsored the uh, big pad in the back, the big on-road pad. So, yeah, he's kind of a big deal, you know. Uh, me and him both put up like 4500 bucks to get that pad. So, big expense. But now we can do on-road here at the Exoplex. Great on megalithics. Any directional design? Uh, not really. I mean, you can look at this and say they're directional. But honestly, I don't know that it makes a bit of difference. I really don't, but I will tell you this. I have done this on some of my other vehicles. You know, the uh, like the mild and wild inserts, like the little spiky things, those actually work good in those tires. In my opinion, they're just as good as these. But they actually do have, you know, like when you get down into the tire, you can actually get a physical hold with those. But yeah, those will work in it. I would probably do milds in the front and wilds in the back if you go with those. Uh, so I got five rigs going there. They're all axials. Uh, man, I can only drive one vehicle at a time. I'll probably bring race camp. 
Raminator, Ram Bouncer. Uh, I don't know. Probably something else. I mean, really, I can only drive one at a time, you know. Uh, backyard Gamer, yes, I'm going to beat the creek. Yes, sir. Can I put a big Axial sticker on my X-Max? Oh, you sure can. I doubt it'll pass. Muster, though. You're giving away I meant if you got replacements. You gave them away. What did I give away? Um, oh, good lawyer. Not sure. Oh, oh. Uh, most of them give them back. Some of them bought them from me. Got an SCX6. What do you recommend for tires and foams? Backyard Gamer. Uh, real simple. An easy way to get that. Um, the foams are going to be your biggest issue. Unless you just really want to spend money, get the uh, um, the steady foams and just put those in the stock tires. The stock tires, they aren't really bad in my opinion. I know people are like, oh man, stock tires are always bad. Those aren't bad really. They're really not. Oh, yeah. Which one you got in the pins? Like one of these? Or, now, I, I don't have the uh, the mild, wild, or the big claws handy. I don't have them handy out here. J4 and Bronco testing. All right, so cool. FJ40. Chance to hit some trails that beat the creek. I usually try to get down to the creek at least. Um, when... The thing about hitting the trails, when you get a booth like what I'm going to have, about the best I'm going to be able to do is to go hit the barn, maybe the trail coming back, uh, the trail separating the two fields, I can do that. But when you're working an event, you're kind of busy working the event, so... It kind of takes away the freedom to be able to really get out there, you know? Enlighten RC, am I driving to Axial Fest? Yes, I am, and I'm pulling that little white coffin trailer of mine, too. Speedy Brute, what's up? I want to tune my Red Cat Fusion reverse. It's really jumpy. Okay, what, uh, what radio do you have, Joshua? If you have the stock radio, there isn't... I don't believe... We have any uh, exponential on the stock radio. This is a stock radio right here. Uh, I don't believe you can... I don't believe... I don't know. The, I don't think that's stock. The RTR Fusion isn't really like the Fusion SE. It uh, only, only has a few things to it. But uh, you may need another radio with exponential that you can adjust. Oh, I do have the SCX Pro. I do have that one, Clayton. Fusion reverse is too jumpy. Um, now, you can turn down, as far as your reverse, you can turn down how much it goes in reverse. Like, you can set your endpoint, and there's a procedure that you can do that with the stock radio, so you can turn that down. That might help you out. Oh, yeah, those those went out uh, this morning, American. Yep, those went out this morning. Uh, I haven't had any issues with any gears in the Fusion or the Ascent or any of that. I know they have a different set of gears you can put in there, but I haven't had a, I haven't busted anything. Okay, yeah. The very first version, you're talking about the big spiky things? Those are what you got? Deep Woods C3 five pound rig. Five pound. The Deep Woods, those are a very soft gummy tire. I would probably say uh, 
a five pound rig. Probably go with the J Concepts since they're a little bit larger diameter and that tire is also a little bit larger diameter. J Concepts, super soft and soft if you're looking at mine. As far as like for the Enjora inserts, the blues will probably break in and be okay, but they're going to be a little bit stiff at the start. But I do feel the blues are the best option over the green and the reds. The greens, they're just floppy, in my opinion. Cool, Matt. Appreciate that. Joshua Berry Stock. I missed something here. Oh, Bevan upgraded all the six to replace almost everything in the whole darn thing. Original. That's kind of the way it happens, Aaron. SS69 Camaro. Uh, I know how working at an event can be. We'll come by and grab something from you. Cool cutting. Appreciate that. Uh, DK, do I still have the Mojave? I do. Bought all the orange colored Groms. <laughs> get a loser blue well um i'm not even sure what color mine is no i'm not sure reason that being said do you think the other companies are feeling any pressure at least on the ascent line um are they feeling any pressure i don't think so and this is the thing a lot of people in the hobby can't get past what Red Cat was six years ago. They can't get past what it was six years ago. So they still have that Red Cat is junk, Red Cat is junk, Red Cat is junk in their heads. They can't get past that. Red Cat is not the same Red Cat that they were four or five years ago. They just weren't. They are not. They really stepped it up. Now, the issue is some of their older models are still on the website. Those are, you know, I guess they sell, which is why they keep them on there. But, man, if I was Red Cat, I would phase all that stuff out and replace it with much better stuff. But you're talking about the orange thing right there. That is a DX6 rugged back there. Yes, it is. I got the DX6C. Sound like you know. Since I'm messing with Spectrum now, because for the longest time, I really didn't touch Spectrum ground radios. But it's actually not bad. Um, touch screen right here. There are a few different mods to it with the touch screen, I believe it is, and a few different things. So they did do some updates on it. So I've got it. I got to run through all of those and basically do the entire video. Something about the button as well. They changed the button on it. Come on, show up. It's not wanting to show through the camera here. Nope. Hopefully it shows when I do the video. <laughs> but yeah, all the touch screen stuff back there. It's actually pretty neat. It's not really touch screen. It's almost like a, got a lot of haptics to it. It's, it's actually pretty neat. So, yeah, and of course, I had to dig out one of my Spectrum takeout receivers, so I got that to go on to it, which would be nice. Plus, it goes on the motorcycle, so I'll probably try to get it set up on that. I'm not sure if I got to do the firmware update or if it came already with the new update forward or not. I'm not sure. Yep, that's what I was thinking, American. That's what I was thinking. I like that it's already got a little thumb drive thing on it. That's pretty good. Like a, one thing that always kind of bothers me is, I guess these are meant for seven foot dudes or something with monster hands. They just seem to be large. Like this right here is the Vanquish radio, which is actually a nice radio. See my little thumb drive, thumb adapter on that. Uh, the Red Cat radio. I guess that's about the same, isn't it? Well, no, it's, it's just a large radio. I'm not sure why they keep them so large. Shouldn't be anything down in the handle. Vibe RC, Vibe CRC, what's up? Modify like a 
man, man. Man, F40, did you see my first Gen 7 video? Me, Mark, and my other buddy, Chris. We took three of them, opened them up out of the box, and just took them right out and beat on them like we hated them. Man, we went right through the water, everything, man. I mean, just it was amazing. And they all took it. The receivers took it. We didn't waterproof anything. We were fresh out of the box, and we went for it. The touchscreen isn't that bad on this one. I'm not sure if they updated that or not, but it's not too bad. Um, Vibar C, how do I like it compared to the Radio Link? Vibar C, the Radio Link, as of right now, has way more features than this one. This one is actually a real six channel now. Obviously, the Radio Link is eight channel, but um, I think the Radio Link has more mixing and all that stuff. But then again, I'm still a noob when it comes to Spectrum Radio, so I got a lot to learn. I know it has momentary down here, which is nice. Like, say you're winching. You now you can drive, do all your things, and winch while you're driving. So that's a nice thing. Aaron Moore, don't be worried about part support. Believe me, Red Cat's got it going on, buddy. And also, Aaron, keep in mind that Vitavon has a uh, vigil vigilante as well. So we're going to be getting some amazing stuff. Dude, the Reese Raw 500 is legendary, isn't it? Thanks, Cutting. Catch you later, man. Uh, dude, the Radio Link RC8X, you know, they had the 4GS, the 6GS, and they were okay. But the 8GS, man, I like that radio, especially for my crawlers. Uh, for my crawlers, it just seems to be the best. Um, I still prefer the GT5 for my faster stuff. It's, the GT5 is a little bit easier to drive one-handed because you guys all know that I drive one-handed while recording, correct? So... Um, for me, the GT5 is better to race with. It's just better ergonomically. But when it comes to crawling, I prefer the 8X. The plastic tires yet? Yes, Bust Nut. I have put plastic drift tires on there. It is pretty darn fun. Ah, nice. FJ40, F40. Such a great beverage. I had to get an expensive here. Now. Oh my God. Uh, yeah. I imagine it is. They changed the touch on dick. Six regular instead of the sliding scale. They went to a regular touchpad. Yeah. Yeah, I don't notice any sliding thing on it. Create an 8S steering issue. Binding to the left. Remove servo arm. Still happens. Looks like the top ball end is hitting the knuckle. Okay, are you sure that your balls aren't too tight in the pocket? I'm being serious now. The, the Creighton has a pillow ball design. So, uh, mine's down there. So hold on. I'll, I'll hold up. I'll pull my Creighton 8S up. I got the wheels and tires off of it. I'll show you what I got here. Oh, my goodness. Why am I bringing this thing up? Oh, my goodness. Uh, this is my Creighton 12S right here. Uh, big 560K V motor, Max 4 ESC. Um, so you got tightness on your turning, right? If you're, well, I don't even have a servo in it right now. But like right into there, what it is, if you get debris up into here, you can actually affect that. So you can cause yourself some issues there. Oh, I know what it is. I stole the 1,000 out to put into the Ram Bouncer. But, yeah, um, make sure you check all your pieces right through here. Um, Vitavon, stock, whatever, they tend to, they, they, they tend to uh, pack up. So you do got to kind of clean them out. But, yeah, since we haven't seen this in a while, this is my Creighton 12S. <laughs> it is... Quite the beast, isn't it? <laughs> oh my god. And let me tell you, it runs, buddy. It runs. Get this down over here. 
for the Creighton 8S vehicles, something you can get here by Top Level RC, the drag skid. You put this thing on there, man. Dude, it'll hold it down and be absolutely awesome. Um, as far as like fitting X-Max wheels, these are X-Max wheels by Vitavon. They just have the Creighton hex hub or fist scale hex hub in them. So these are the exact same ones I got right there, except for the green to match the Creighton. Yeah, Vibe, R Vibe CRC. There's a lot to get used to with the 8X. I, I'm still probably, I don't even think I'm halfway into it, to be honest with you. I, I don't think I need all the features. I heard about the uh, update, and I have not updated mine past where it's at. I'm not risking it. Uh, Dan Trivet, how's the concrete pad coming? Dude, the concrete pad's done. I got a driver stand put up and everything. Ooh, I think I still got video to edit for that, too. G7P, but the range is terrible. Okay, I'm not sure what the G7P is. Unless you're talking about that stupid radio master. Tight pocket balls. Yes, it does happen. <laughs> nah, that Creighton, that's a, that's a fortune in that truck. Okay, looks well. Where are we at here? Okay. Are you guys commenting or has everything just died down? I mean, it is at 8 o'clock. We've only been into this for an hour. So, you should print a two piece insert that allows you to run interchangeable foams. Sick as 3D printed. A two piece printed insert. I'll tell you what I have thought about doing taking inserts like the way I've got set up like this and actually putting pockets on the inside for lead weights to where you can actually weight them with lead weights and they'll hold in place. Kind of thought about that. I just had to get some old carb iron lead weight things. Thought about that. Curious to know if you ever, buddy, I haven't went fishing in years. I get to quarter throttle and it'll slowly wind up to full speed. I have no idea, Clayton. Really, American? Well, welcome to the live, buddy. <laughs> you just now got the... Well, let's see if the uh, thing spikes. I see 89 of you guys on here right now. Let's see if that pops up. See if everybody else just got their notification. Ah, uh, da do Bring it to you. Now, as far as other inserts go, and I've mentioned this before, I just haven't got to it or even tried it yet. I want to make an insert for the Raminator Mega Truck tires. BL2. The only BL2 that I've seen run was in that little uh, that little roadster that the guy was driving in Georgia that was all through the uh, mud and stuff. Arma Granite 3S BLX. Huh. Uh, bust Nut, the stand is built, yes. There is a <clears throat> there is a driver stand for both the off-road and a separate stand for the on-road with a shade cover. I'm glad you guys are finally getting the Omni Terminator. Man, the first thing you're going to notice is it doesn't drive like a little bitty beater truck from Amazon. It drives like a big truck, and it is awesome. Now, I've got the metal one, so and I think a lot of you guys bought the carbon one. But regardless, they're going to drive phenomenal. Trust me. But I am glad everybody is finally getting their Omni Terminators. Traxxas is Boo Earns Electronics. What's a Boo Earns Electronics? 
I'm not sure the Granite 3S. Uh, I don't know what you'll need for that one. Really, I've never had that particular vehicle, so I don't know uh, what to tell you to go for, Nick. All right, so you guys giving me a break here? Everything I've got is sore right now. But regardless, yeah, this is something I'm going to be working on right here. The 4.19J Concepts. Looks like pretty much just a regular simple, simple straight insert would fit the carcass well. Now, some of them, they require a little bit more of a curved insert. So I've got those as well. Um, the Holmes Magic Smoke video, I apparently have not seen that one. Boo Earns. Okay. <laughs> I was unable to do a live stream. Uh, hold on, what is today? I may not be able to do a live stream next Tuesday. Next Tuesday, I'm not going to be home. I'm going to be in Ackworth, Georgia next Tuesday. Now, Wednesday evening, I should be back home, though. So next Tuesday, there will not be a live. You guys are hearing it here first. Oh, hey, bus nut. It, it was the truth. I told you. It was the truth, man. All oh, the comp this Sunday. Yeah. So let's go over crawler comps. I see it. People see it. They come to me. They cry and complain. And I want to try to do something about it. Is dealing with winches, DSMs, pull straps, all that. He pulled his truck. He pulled it. And you can do it with DSM. You can do it with your winch line. I have seen people winch it out. And the whole time they're winching it out, they're also pulling that truck right on the lot. Or the winch will stop this far so they'll pull the truck to get... I've seen all that crap, okay? So this weekend, we are going to go with a no-winch crawler comp. The lines have been chosen. I just have to gate them, and I think it's going to be pretty darn awesome. Um, there'll be a little bit different set of rules as far as the operation goes, but... No winches or anything like that. If you if if I see you winch or pull, I will personally probably give you a DNF for that particular course. So I don't want to see anybody pulling winches. As far as testing the courses go, the courses have already been tested. And we pretty much got a nice course. The course should be challenging, but totally doable. So I'm not sure exactly what the rules are going to be, but... What I will have in there is a missed gate penalty because if you can't clear a gate and you have no way to go but winch, well, now you have to miss it, but you can get a missed gate penalty, but no winching. Uh, do, we, do you print my own inserts in-house? Yes, F40, I do my own printing. I have six printers right now. And if I do these, if the 2.2s start, the bigger prints... They take a lot longer than the smaller prints, so they really tie up the, uh, like these right here, not because of diameter, but they're, they're so thick and so wide, it's like over six hours each. So, and like uh, this right here, can be about seven. A normal one, um, like say this right here, is, all, is only about four. I'm assuming this right here should be about two because it's such a smaller insert. So, and of course the smaller inserts will be less priced because there's less material, less time on the machine, the whole everything. So, but yeah, I do I do all my own designs and my own printing, yes. A red cat has sent Fusion yesterday my birthday, that's right, born on April 1st. Been a joke my whole life. Well, James, happy birthday, buddy. Mine is July 9th, and nobody ever remembers it, and I'm fine with that. Because this year, this year, 
I hit the big 5-0 this year. And what's funny is I I wake up and I feel like I'm 18 and 20. Then I move and I realize I'm not. Do you don't have anything? Um, so it still says uh, if it says unfulfilled. Oh, that's a good. I didn't think about the 14 versus 12. What if I can print an adapter? It'll be a, literally a one millimeter thick hex. I could do that. And I'm sure it would work for at least the first till the first crash. Um, any idea on a cab only body? Man, Proline makes some. J Concepts makes some. You'll just have to figure out which body suits you best. And yes, Aaron Moore, I did put twenty million in the Vigilante. I just want to see anybody. Hope you're having a good day all the way from Oregon. Oregon. Sean H. What's up? Bo Duke. Ordered my carbon omni the first day possible. It was. It shipped Friday. It was delivered today in the south, a few hours north of XO. Man, we got guys coming all the way up from Miami. Or saying they're going to come up from Miami. But they'll try to see how much they can. Yeah, see, uh, as far as like the event enlighten, what I'm thinking of doing is this right here. I'm going to tell you guys that are here local, look at listening to this. What I'm thinking of doing, if the event works out, uh, what I'm thinking of doing is actually running because if if they get Lake City taken care of and we can have the winter series out there, which I would very much rather the winter series be out there, but I would run this alongside of the winter series. So a no winch crawler series. Just leave your winches at home. Simple as that, right? So at least that's 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 what I'm thinking. So we'll have to see how it works out this Sunday. Do I have inserts for SCX6 Dan Trevet? I do not. Um, I do not have any printed inserts for 2.2 Canyon Trail. I don't even have any of those tires. Unlimited budget? I'd probably build the same truck I built out of Sam. And that is actually a Power Hobby chassis with a Vitavon Pro, SCX Pro front end with a Vanquish F. F 11 F10 rear axle. Yes, I will, Marcus. Yes, I will. What do you think of the M2C shock pistols for the XRT? Uh, I haven't even seen the M2C pistons for the XRT. I haven't seen them, buddy. Uh, must not. You're only three months behind me, dude. You're only, what, three months, so you'll be right there with me. Is it on a Tuesday? Really? July 9th is on a Tuesday? I'll have to miss that one. <laughs> uh, oh, crap, it is on the 9th. Wow, that's interesting. I changed the front lower control at four, all four struts on a full-size car. I feel like I'm... Got ran over today. Man, last week I spent about three days just constantly building and working on the track back there. Just constantly. What are the train rides coming to the exit place? It's not that big. Part of the Grom Typhoon that says back order, and I got the other stuff ordered with it. Any clue when the buddy? I don't know what their back order status is on that one. I just don't know. Um, American, I've had the Voodoo KLR. I've not had the V2s. 15 years ago, right behind you, 50 in October. In your opinion, RC all-wheel drive cyber worlds. I haven't seen the RC all-wheel drive. I know RC all-wheel drive. I think they've got some decent brackets and stuff, but 
like axles and stuff like that. I'm not I'm not a big fan of those for that. Anything moving, mechanical like that, I'm not really a big fan of them. Pro line half bag, um six months. Six months. <laughs> Turtle RC. Sam is not cheap, buddy. I mean, heck, even the rear axle, that was actually kind of cheap as compared to that front one. You're in Florida, you should have bro dozer races. I don't have, I don't have a bro dozer. Many truck questions. Cedar, Python, Pro. Tears for you. Major cogging at low throttle. Drive line is in phase. Um. Glad you understand about the drive line. That's good to see. Diff measures good. Trans good. 16.61. Base setting if you're a car. All right. Base settings. Uh, turn your punch to one. Okay. Do your punch to one on if you're a car. Um, one thing about the Python and all that stuff like that. The startup FOC. Like say you get 20,000 RPM. That's your your RPM range of your motor. I'm not sure what that one is exactly, but just as an example, you get like 500 RPM of your FOC. That's your startup, your really slow stuff, okay? After that, it goes into normal drive mode, and that's where you're getting your cogging. You're getting your cogging just as you break the FOC startup into the drive mode. Those systems work better with lower gearing, as in like a, a slower gearing, a higher gear ratio, if that makes any sense. But yeah, um, if you go to a the low gear set in the transmission, you'll be a lot better off with that system. Running a poised T3 V2, five pound, 64, 36. Pictures in the back, pulling unbelievable lines on natural rock, squid inserts. Love to see you test it. I imagine that is running good. And I've, I've had squid inserts. They're pretty good. I think they were the ones that I got my 2.2 inserts from a while back. And I've, I've still got those inserts here too. Party at the Exoplex, you line knife. <laughs> Yeah, on a Tuesday. Everybody's got to work on Tuesdays. Uh, I still don't have any pro portals. I'll be 50 in January. 50 in January, you old fart. It's the best thing in a four wheel steer capper roller. I was taking the RP chassis intercept. That would work. Just convert that thing to a truck, Ethan. 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 <laughs> The fifth, y'all want to do it on the fifth? What would that be like? The uh, EXO birthday bash? Well, the fifth would be on a Friday. Oh, January 5th. Okay, I got you. I got you. We could do something on the 7th of July. Yeah, be all right. I do not know what the top seat of a Machete 4S is. I do not know, buddy. Every day. Been home for a total of three days. This and this. Man, that must stink. When y'all racing Grom stock class. I don't know. We could. Well, we're, we will be running Groms on Sunday. So believe me, there's going to be a lot of Groms on that track. Let me tell you. Um, I'm not even sure if it's still on there. And if it's not, I'm not sure where it's at. It might still be on there. Yeah, I know he's kind of not doing those anymore, is he? He's going more towards the carbon stuff and all that. So that kind of stings. Bulldog 6, what's up, buddy? <clears throat> where is Exoplex? The Exoplex is in Middleburg, Florida. Three two zero six eight. Um, Alvin Tower, what's up? I'll go 
full low and slow with the crawler gears. Yes, Steven. That's that's the best way to go, buddy. Yeah, because when you start up, it's a uh, sinusoidal startup. I believe what it is. The FSC, which is like field-oriented control. What it does, the ESC can actually read the resistance on the windings and coils and all that wonderful stuff. And it can actually hold that rotor in a certain RPM. Kind of like what the, what, what the Fusion does. But the Fusion's a lot better at it. Um, and then that one, once the motor gets turning, then it switches into a drive. Meth head bird. I haven't I have never came across the meth lab ever. I may have man, I may have seen one in Ocala many years ago. What's up, Kevin? Where, where I live in Holland, Middleburg is the first biggest city close to mine in Flushing, but well, my Middleburg is not close to you. I can tell you that. Insane BMX. All right, so we got uh, got a few more minutes here. Um, there's no meth gator. So um, I guess we're going to go ahead and wrap this up at 8.30. You guys are giving me a chance to breathe here. Oh, busted down Blue Jay? Yeah. Will there be a 4S capable fusion? I hope so. I hope so. And I hope they keep it 2300 kV on top of that. I hope so. Honestly, I think Hobbywing kind of messed up with the 1080 G2 by not allowing it to be 4S capable. Rocky Mountain, what's up? Um, what's for dinner for me? Probably nothing tonight. Well. I think I got some fish sticks I can throw in the microwave. A Grom Centon, yeah. So you notice the difference, Varg? I got my good internet, dude. I got my good internet. Nine o'clock. If you if you want me to hang around nine o'clock, y'all got to get me talking. Ooh. Oh, 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 hang on, hang on. Something just shipped. Uh, we're getting your order ready to be shipped. All right, so I guess it's going to ship tomorrow. But 11 Raminator transmission mounts. Boom. I will actually have those in stock. A Grom Creighton EXB. Well, that's kind of like the, uh, the normal... Granite Grom, isn't it? Yes, yeah, see that works with a 10 hole, 10 pole outrunner. Uh, the 10 pole, that's kind of a Furitech thing. So if you got a Python X, it should work really good with it. Personally, I prefer the 14 pole Holmes motors. Just personal preference. And I prefer them on everything. At least for me anyway. All right, I got shipping confirmation. What's up, Jason's? My favorite RC crawler tires and why? Well, this is a small one. J Concepts Megalithic, J Concepts Tusk, Proline Crawler, and Proline Baja Pro X. Just because. They seem to hook up pretty good. I mean, the megalithics are just awesome. Actually, most of my J concepts was, was measured on the megalithics. I'm working on inserts for these little guys right now. Um, I'm not planning to auction off any of my vehicles. I'm not planning on it. But that is kind of an interesting thought. I don't really have anything to auction off right now. I have almost half a can of Mountain Dew. Y'all want to go for that? 
the value just went down though. So uh, probably a third of a can of Mountain Dew now. <laughs> yeah, I've got tracking. So hopefully they'll be here for this weekend so you can grab yours. Man, I can't wait, dude. Oh, so you ordered a 2,500 KV 10 pole American? I've got one of those. And I prefer like the 2040 KV uh, 14 pole. What's the biggest tire you can put on a Baja Ray 2.0? Dude, the stock tires rub on the Baja Ray 2.0. Trail tire, no rocks here. Trail tire? If you want something scale, man, go with something like a Tusk. Great trail tire, and it'll crawl just about anything. These are the 5.25s. I just got some new inserts done for them. So. The do rig. Yellow five. Stop drinking soda. Don't end up like me. Diabetes. I'm, I'm still good on all that. I'm still good. Five grand on a boat motor. Dude, I was watching this thing on TikTok. This dude goes through looking at bass boats. Dude, $75,000 for a bass boat. That's ridiculous. No, Kevin Cook. I never got my Doritos Nacho Cheese Block. I need to find somebody that works at Doritos. Does anybody work for Doritos that can get me a nacho cheese block? I would eat that thing on camera. During a live, I would have that big old cheese block right here. Man, I would tear that thing up. It'd probably take me about two hours to eat it because it's very strong cheese. Now I want to go to the store and get some nacho cheese chips. I actually don't have any. I'm out of stock. Without the body on the Baja Ray 2.0, I mean, uh, are you talking about the smaller 2.0? Probably just any five five seven five tire. Wilford Brimley Bidenomics. Yeah, so does Joe. There are new motors going for eighty thousand, dude. You ever watch uh, where they go in and out of haul over? They go through there, hit all them waves. Man, I, I like watching that. Anybody that goes out of haul over sitting on the front of that bow, man, they deserve what they get. Man. Yeah, see, our, our gas stations are open 24 hours a day, so that might happen. I just got done eating dinner because it would make me even more hungry. Yeah, I, yeah. Will there be a new Outcast 6S ESB, buddy? I have no idea. Wavy boats, that's it. Insane, you got it, man. Calvin, you're up, dude. I watch those things and I just wow, I watch them and watch them, dude. Let's see here. Um, Florida videos be crazy, yeah. Haul over, man. They go through there. One of them, I was watching one, they had a pontoon. They were coming through. Now, pontoon boat, I mean, I don't think you can sink it. But, man, when that thing hit the water, the bow went under, and it just started doing like, you know, going under. They actually stopped and went back up. I mean, you got pontoons that are sealed, I guess. But, yeah, that was pretty wild there. But then they go through. I've watched a couple. They start listing. I'm like, they're going down, dude. Yeah. Gas, I know it's creeping back up, and you can't blame somebody. But when it comes down, somebody wants to take credit for it because, oh, you know how it goes. Oh, well, J Concepts Tusk or Ruptures for Crawling F40. If you're not worried about making it into a particular class or competition, man, go with them ruptures. Launching the boat, yes. Let me see if I can do a speed test with it real quick. I'm not even sure if what I have is capable of actually taking care of all my, of what I can do now. But I'm getting anywhere from 
7.30 to 7.40 sometimes. Right now I'm getting about 590 something, but well, there's 600 now. But I have got like upwards of 700, 750 download and about the same on the upload. You see right now it's 628 download, 660 upload right there. Hey man, before my download was about maybe 20 and my upload was about one. 1.5. I did one time. I did one time see it at like two. <laughs> That's why I used to always uh, uh, like upload when I go to sleep. I still do it now, but that's just by habit. But I bought the one gig, but I'm not sure if my older tech can even do one gig. I'm back to Beat the Creek. Jacob Wright, yes, sir, I will be at Beat the Creek. Cruz, catch you later, buddy. Sleek Hobbies, I'm getting a CNC machine sent to me. Super Pump, start making my own RC parts. I can get dies and lace. Dude, go for it, Sleek. Yes. We have had the wildfires of Virginia. I guess I'm 30 overnight just for those few days. Yeah, they use every excuse they can to jack that price up, buddy. Looking forward to the 3D print piece you made last night. Thanks for the super fast turnaround. Awesome, buddy. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, I'm uploading in 4K now. Yes. I had to change my upload speed on my YouTube uh, settings, though. My YouTube had a different setting. It was set at 1080, so I had to change that. Uh, I forget where I found it here. But anyway, I found it in the uh, my, my settings on my upload. So, But I did find that, and I had to put it like full full resolution or something like that. Let's see if I can find it here. Uh, uploads. Yeah, upload quality. It was at 1080p. Well, now I've got it set at full quality, so... And I did notice it take a little bit, a few extra seconds to upload. So, yeah, I got to check and make sure they did go 4K, though. But should be getting a lot more 4K stuff now. The Great Lakes, Gaunt Great Lakes Gauntlet. Yes, I I've heard of that. Okay, sleep. Yes. Ruptures or megalithics. Well, considering good old Sorka's banning both of them, take your pick, buddy. Uh, they're both about equal as good. They really are. Gotta bounce. Crawler life catch you later, buddy. Do those Allen key lock on hexes work? And matching wheels seem like such a rabbit hole to a noob. Allen key lock on hexes. You're talking about the bolt-on wheel hexes, like that one? Yeah, they work just as good. You can change them out for different offsets. Awesome, dude. Can you see my little bald spot right there? I'm really impressed because I've changed nothing on the actual camera. It's still the same iPhone XS, uh, XS Max. That's and I'm using the front camera. I can see my dumb face right there. So I thought about trying to set it up on the back camera, but nah, didn't work. Da, 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 da. A little slit cut into them, and an Allen bolt you can tighten onto the axle. Oh, you're talking about the little hexes with the little uh, yeah, they're okay. I don't really think they're all that they're cracked up to be or people try to make them out to be, but they're okay. They work just fine. Man, you guys are cutting me some slack today. You guys are slacking. So, uh, let me see here. I do want to show you guys. I do have some bell cranks for the X-Max to add to the website. 
There was something I wanted to show you guys. Probably for the SCX6. I got the new Mod 1.5 gears in the uh, Vita Bouncer. Took that for a drive. Uh, the new on route stuff is awesome, man. Yes. I have a smudge on your wall. But it was actually, I'm about to say, I got a smudge on the wall. How can you even see the wall with all this junk I got around here? There's something I wanted to show you guys. Oh, well, I guess I'm not going to do it. Try a cheap little UDIRC cars for your on-road track. Uh, you're talking about UDIRC. Um, Bustnut just got one. So when Bustnut brings that over here, I will get some video on it. And we shall see. Um, Marcus, I can just about guarantee you he will do everything for the Vigilante just like uh, he's got for the X-Max. I just about guarantee it. How did I bend the PVC pipe on the track? With a heat gun. And I've got to, I've got to do some more pipe bending too. Um, I've got to set something you know, like a six-foot bend so we, when we do our oval racing. I've got that. But yeah, just a heat gun. Heat it up a little bit. Give it a little bit of a bend. Kind of let it set. Bend it. Set it. Bend it. Set it. Kind of one of, the, one of those things. Do some turf on those shelves. They got dirt. Bust nut, which one did you get? Did you get the one that looked like the mini infraction? Yeah, the walls. Yeah, that's something we're looking at on, on the track. The metal domes, man, those were at the old Hobby World track many years ago. And when they shut that down, sold off the property and all that, I grabbed two of them. Now, okay, so he's got the one that you're talking about, South Florida. Um, what I did was I printed a TPU pipe end piece to go on there. Um, I think about that video I got to edit together. I'll, 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 I'll get that up for channel members hopefully soon. But um, yeah, I, and you put it into the pipe. And it kind of has a nice piece to it. I'm actually tempted to put them on the website just to see if other guys want to do this. It was a real simple 3D job to design, you know, but I'm, not, I'm, I'm tempted to. See, they're, they look like the bottom of a propane bottle, but they're not. They have a, a weird square in them like for a street sign. It's like they're meant to hold, to hold up a street sign like a, uh, like a, road road worker you know kind of one of them guys holding the signs it's like that almost but it's not quite i haven't found the exact things anywhere i'd like to find more of them i have not got the new pro line baja pro x tires yet rc daily finally made it in man yeah, it's about time Some walls on. As far as the walls on the track go, um, me and Mark, man, we were looking at all kinds of options, going through Lowe's. That the best option that we can come up with, honestly, was like some two by eights treated and just anchor them to the outside wall of the track. I mean... As far as cost goes and all that, you know, I also thought about getting some mortar mix and actually mortaring down some bricks. And then the track isn't perfectly level, but if it was perfectly level, man, I could go three bricks high and have a little swimming pool when it rains. Thought about that. Yeah. But regardless, uh, yeah, it does need a better wall on the outside. The uh, one inch pipes, mm, you can kind of go over them. A new pro line. Oh, I said daily. Yep. What did you think about the Ascent 17? Man, the Ascent 17, I knew what that was as soon as I saw it. I'm like, this makes no sense at all to do this. And it was even pink. I got your RC daily. 
We're at the Pearl Line Intrepiders for the SCX-6 and haven't even opened them yet. Ah, uh, the Intrepiders are okay. They're okay. Oh, yeah, you mean like in the middle? Yeah, we got to put some big walls up to keep him from jumping them pipes. That's for sure. Rib tires. <laughs> you need to add side walls to the inserts, and that will help them stay more in line. Add side walls to the inserts. You're talking about these? If you do that to these, then it'll pick it up as in like, and, uh, and this will all be nothing but infill. Yeah, that wouldn't just be an easy design. That'd be something I had really would have to get into. And I don't really think it'll make much of a difference, honestly. See, the uh, uh, pool noodle thing, that was mentioned. And if, if we don't have a larger... Uh, wall on it by the time we do the oval which is april 28th or something like that uh we probably just gonna put some pool noodles like where people generally crash you know we'll just cut them and you kind of put them over in the general crash zones because there's gonna be a lot of crashing dude the trail trucks on the course dude that was so much fun oh my god that was so much fun They show they have shown they have show these hint like especially with the catchphrase they use for the person that wants a little something a little bigger. Yep, yep, yep. Well the hobby max six G two E if it's ready to max slash or need a special 3D print. Uh I believe it'll fit right in there. I mean it's got the uh large uh VXL six S E S C and I believe they got about the same footprint. So yeah, I I think it would go right in there. I haven't tried it. But I believe it will go right in place of it. You may have to do a little bit of custom gluing on it, but I'm pretty sure it'll go. John DRC, what's up? All right. So anyway, uh, hopefully tomorrow, if I, I if I get my darn wheels in, I want to do the video on these. I've got literally four of them ready to go. Inserts in them and everything. The fat boys. I got some 30, 30 millimeter wheel, 30 millimeter wide wheels coming, which is actually pretty common in the one nine world, but I haven't seen any inserts for the 30 millimeter wheels. So I got them. This is, they fill it out pretty good too. And just so you know, you can't just throw these into any tire. I'll show you. This is one of the boom racing tires right here. Okay. Let me show you what it does to this. Not what you want. Jump a breakthrough. They show they have a scent 17 in black. No, no. Uh, John DRC. You should put Creighton 8S EXB tires on the Red Cat Vigilante. I was thinking about that. I've got those, but they are the full Vitavon ones. Ford has a fake 150 regular cab with a 14 foot bed. John DRC, what's up? Got two sets up. Now, look at how bad this one does. Look at that. So these wide inserts are very specific for these tires. So yeah, I'm trying. I'm gonna try to use my big shiny forehead to show this thing to you look at that so yeah perfect for these not so perfect for these uh, john d how would those tires work on the max slash which ones now as far as the max slash goes i put the udr tires uh the uh, landmines and although they were really good. They were also really bad because they pancaked really easy. Really easy. So I asked uh, Red I asked Red Cat. I asked Jay Concepts if we could get those tires belted so we could get something specifically for that truck or even for the UDR. Wow. 
Oh, you got X or wide, boom. How wide are they? Because these are pretty much for your 30 millimeter wides. So, and this is a 30 millimeter wide here, but you can see how far it's inset. So you can see just how wide these tires are. I believe, I believe these things are like 44, yeah, 44 millimeters wide, these things are. So, and they fit pretty good. Cantilever, cantilever suspension. People use those when they have, when they're doing like really scale stuff. I know this is not really scale, but what they do is they use that so they can get a good suspension travel on the back end without getting up into the bed space. Other than that, I don't really see, uh, I don't really see a need for it. Uh, the first set you show with just your inserts here, you're talking about like these, the 525s, I don't think these would take the RPM. I don't think these would take the RPM. You know about AS Outcast EXB tires. Um, Yeah, they should be fine on there. Oh, 41 millimeter wide. What tire are you going to run with that? Forty-one millimeters wide. I could possibly make you some inserts for them if you're going to be running these tires. At least I know, because I know these are forty-four millimeters wide. I could change all of this and possibly make the tire, you know, as square as possible on those. <coughs> Send me an email or something, American. And uh, when you get the wheels in, if I know you're using these tires, I'll, I'll, I'll need some very specific measurements. Like measurements on like your insert right here. I'll need like that measurement and all that. But I can probably make you some custom inserts since I already have the dimensions for the tire. Changing the middle wouldn't be that big of a deal. Tusk with squids and stock foams cut for the sidewall. Okay. And crawlers on the okay. Okay, so you're not going to be using these. Now, for inboard suspension and stuff like that, like with the E-Revo and stuff, a lot of travel, but man, it's hard to get enough dampening when your leverages are wrong. So your leverages, the pivot arm. Uh, you have your link going up to your arm and then that goes like this number and you got your link with your shock here. If those leverages aren't just right, man. You just have nothing but problems out of that. Stop foam. Don't ever add again. Send measurements for the answer. Yeah. Um, American, you're planning to use a set of these, right? If you're planning to use a set of these, um, what I'll do is I'll make them what you want. Uh, then I'll take a picture of them for the website, send them to you, um, make sure everything fits and then we'll, uh, get everything done. I'd like actually it's made for the ties for sure. Yeah. So when you're building the 30 foot high concrete crawler mountain of doom, Joe, dude, I tell you what I want to do. Say we get my on-road scene going out here, and this is going to be really bad what I want to do. At the end of the ramps, I, <laughs> ramps, okay, I've, I just spoiled it. You know, the on-road track is 30 by 60, right? Man, I want to build not really a half pipe, but build some kind of a transition up like this. So you're coming up, boom, you get to ride it and come back down. The issue is I'm going to have to make it in such a way that I can't get on it with a skateboard. Because I'm turning 50 this year. I don't need to be on a skateboard and my, my stupid self will probably try it. So I got to be careful. And I've never had a concrete pad in my backyard that I can actually do something like that with. It's a good thing my skateboard wheels are all dry rotted. Yeah, that's a good thing. A really good thing.
Dang, I kind of want to try it now. Nope, not going to happen. Not going to happen. So when you're building the 30 foot eye, uh, yeah, is your DBX it broke every time running the Max 4? I have not broken the DBXL with the Max 4. What I did break on the DBXL was I tried the, uh, I forget the name of it. It's been, it's been a few years ago, but I put that spool in there. The Mad, Mad Max, I think it was, spool. And I did break that. I busted the pin off to hold it on the center shaft, and it kind of messed up everything. So when I had the spool in the middle of it, I did break that. All right, cool deal, American. A skilled obstacle on the course. A skill, a skilled obstacle, okay. A month away from 50. Still waiting to see a burnout on the on the bad. Yeah, I gotta figure out what I need to do a burnout with. You'll volunteer to video on a skateboard. Uh -huh. Hey, if I hit it with a skateboard, you got to hit it with your electric bike. So we're all, John D, buddy. Yeah, 50 is coming around for all of us, buddy. It really is. Tiny trucks with dumpling. Pro driver checking in. What's up, buddy? Oh, crap, Paul. You shouldn't have. Don't be saying that, dude. I'll be going buying skateboard wheels. I am installing the whole, the wide max kit on the max slash. Um, Daniel, no, I I don't have a need to do that. And the reason is I want to keep that as a, as a big short course truck because I do want to race it against some Mojave's. You do all of that. I don't know. It just doesn't seem right. So I, I have no interest in doing it. Now, I have no interest in doing it. Does it mean that I might not take the long arm kit? Because, you know, I've got the Max up here with the wide kit and all on it. I mean, that'll unbolt and bolt right onto this thing. So I could actually do it for a video, but it wouldn't be something I would keep. Just not something I would want to do. Uh, I think it is. I don't know. You ever used the version before the XLX too? Yeah, the XLX, yeah. Good enough for my YouTube. Um, the XLX was a good solid ESC. It's just a little bit different form factor. But yeah, I've used them before. Um, ben, I have used the ISDT ESC 70. I think it was a 70. And although it works, it's just a little bit finicky a little bit, you know? But overall, it does work. Uh, I do still have the belt drive on the X-Max, but it's the 12S X-Max up there, and so far it holds up when I drive it, which is about once every six months. So it's not like I drive everything. Man, I got like 130 RCs. Um, there's no way to drive everything. Just none. Out of 130 RCs, I believe... 125 are ready to go with a charged battery. So that's 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 pretty good. The only ones that aren't ready are like uh, some of the little 124 stuff. Um, I have not tried the new Castle 32-bit ESC yet. I do know of some information coming from Castle, and I really hope it's true, but I can't comment on it. Um, I do not have an Element Trail Walker. I do have an Element Ecto. And we have eight minutes to go. Uh -huh. So we have eight minutes to finish this thing up, guys. And I'm going to go get my little piece, which should be done, so I can test fit this right here to see if it goes in and start working on something for these little guys right here. I've got these, and I believe i got the tusks as well. Uh, I would like to do a Vecta 5E, but it's not really high on my list of things to get right now. The Nitro is ready to go. It's just, we got to beat it with a hammer and get it to start. No, I don't think so. It'll, it'll, it would probably start up. I'm not sure. Hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, I haven't run that thing in quite a while. It's still sitting on the shed. Nitro doesn't come inside. So we got eight minutes to go. Or right, seven minutes. See, this is what you're talking about there with it being all noisy. This is why I very rarely run Castle, especially in the crawler stuff. Because it's just annoying, you know? It probably won't be worth a darn. Well, bust nut, pretty sure mine was already broken in. Very well broken in. Uh, all right, got six minutes. Counting down. Y'all better get it quick. You guys get it quick. I'll try to get you. The new cut and shut skinny 4.19s. Snowy Wisconsin. Tsunami versus Gen 2. Now, Ben, I do have another ESC here. Channel members have seen this ESC. This ESC is not available yet. Um, they want to make a few adjustments to it, but channel members have actually seen this ESC. And it's a pretty good ESC. It, it drives really similar to uh, what the 1080 is, but it is not. Different form factor and everything. Enlighten. Vita Bouncer would have to be up in the 2Ks for me to even consider that, let that go. I mean, heck, I'll, I'll, I will sell a Ram Bouncer right now shipped for seven, for seven grand. Somebody wants to throw seven grand at me, boom, I will ship you Ram Bouncer. The ESC in question, the one that I'm talking about, uh, I don't recall if that did go to 4S. I think that was just another 3S one, and I told him it needs to go to 4S. The reverse, yes, Marcus, that is one thing they're working on. They're actually working on a full tuner for it as well. So, and Ben Miller, it's not a new ISDT. 1500 for Vitavon Bouncer. Sorry, buddy. You had a guy offer that for your parts for your Ram Bouncer in Lighten? Man, it would take me six months to replace the Ram Bouncer. You know that? It's in there, South Florida. It's in there. You'll buy mine for seven and ship him all my parts. Man, don't, don't go making me have to wait six months to get another Ram Bouncer. I got things. Rob Connett, good night. No, I got a good search. It's in there, South Florida. That's going to... If I bring his crawler body, we go. I sure will, Clayton. There are some hobby shops that have actually sent me uh, truck bodies and stuff to autograph and send back. So it's kind of weird, but some people actually want my autograph. It's, it's so weird. All right, we're closing up. I see we're down to 71. I think everybody's getting ready to go. I think uh, CCXRC is about to come on. In about three minutes. Which of the two Proline Baja tires are the softest? Uh, the Predator. B. Hayes, 425. The Predator is the softer one. Uh, worldwide famous. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm, I'm, I am well known in the RC world, but that's about it. Marcus Landry, catch you later, buddy. Nine, right, insane. Yes, sir, buddy. Have a great one. Less than two minutes. It comes on in another hour. Oh, so CCX don't come on at nine o'clock? I thought he came on at nine o'clock. Well, who is it that comes on at uh, nine o'clock? 
Clayton's. Yeah, I did hit 70,000. Yep, did. Only uh, 29,800 before I have to get a tattoo. Yo, we're cool to sit next. Yeah. Oh, cool. James, good deal there. Yep. I'll be there this year. Now, they say Axial Fest is either cold and rainy or hot and dusty. This past week, yeah, this past one was hot and dusty. So, what do you think we're going to have for this next one? I hope it's I hope it's cool and dry. That's what I want. I know last year uh the Reese tent canopy, they had uh they had like the water hose. Man, I just stretched myself down with a water hose right there, dude. It was awesome. Oh, RC Amigos and CC come on at 10 o'clock. Yeah. I guess 10 o'clock would be the better time. I mean but it is a Tuesday on the East Coast, so. All right, Turtle. Catch you later. Yep, less than one minute. Counting down. Hot and dusty or cold and wet. I can't imagine it cold and wet. Cool and dry. Yeah, Axel. I would love cool and dry. But it's in June, but it's all the way up in Indiana. So it's not like June here in Florida, which is just hot and muggy and just plain nasty. Thank you, Under a Rock. AC just came on. It is time to go. Guys, I want you all to have a great day. And I'm not going to be online next Tuesday. So uh, you guys just uh, be good. I got work to do. Have a great one, guys.